uh, more of, I would say, almost that mental approach to running faster and how to overcome mental hurdles that you might be facing as whether you've been running for 20 years. Happy weekend, here we go, butter my bread, how to run faster, oh my, my what a what a popular topic in the running world, right? Don't we all want to aspire to run just a little bit faster? Um, it's not the end goal for me in my running journey, but it's definitely a nice incentive, I'll just put it that way. And before we dive in, I have not forgotten about uh, my notion, maybe about a month ago, to give some more shout outs to the best comments in the previous day's vlog. So yesterday's vlog was pretty epic. Thanks for noticing the extra attention to the drone shots and the time lapses. And if I'm gonna sit in here in the studio or stand and tell you seek beauty, I don't just wanna be spitting words out. I wanna back it up with action. So I'm making a, a more concerted effort in 2021 to yes, indeed, seek beauty with the cameras out there. So here we go, running Otaku three hours ago. He said, if you love architecture, you'll definitely love Barcelona. Be sure to tour the uh, the Gaudi buildings. I'm not saying that right, but that's okay. The most amazing building I've, I've been in was the Frank Lloyd Wright designed Hotel Okura in Tokyo. The lobby absolutely transformed my mood. And on that topic of Zegama in June, I'm trying to figure out right now, and maybe you could help me down in the comments, do I fly into Madrid? or Barcelona, okay? Madrid is just a little bit closer, I think by about an hour, an hour and a half from Zegama. So anyway, if you guys have some opinions on Madrid or uh, or Barcelona, let me know down in the comments. And then one more kind of funny uh, comment came from Benny. He said, here I was thinking, that snow comes from the sky, but it's it's from this guy at 634 pushing the snow machine all around, snow, uh, snowing the place up. That's right, Benny. It comes from the snow machines out there. So thank you for commenting, answering the question of the day. And that's why I asked the questions of the day is to get conversations like this one going in the studio and more importantly, down below in the comments. Here we go. How to run faster. So once a month, February is almost over. It's amazing. And in January, upper right hand corner, I made, I would say it's not the first installment of the How to Run Faster vlogs here on the channel, but I want to do once a month a, a vlog dedicated just to this topic. So I'd say in the last three years, I've actually, I wouldn't say, I know I've made seven vlogs with that exact title how to run faster because a lot of people want to know how to run faster. So here's a list. I did make a playlist over the past three years and I've been adding videos to that playlist. Now granted, these videos are old and frankly could be updated. And I thought about deleting them from the playlist, upper right hand corner once again, but I decided to keep them topics on that playlist uh, because I think they're still relevant. But as I evolve here on YouTube, the vlogs will continue to evolve as well. So here we go. Build the aerobic engine first, fitness versus fresh, freshness, the long run, plyometrics, threshold training is key, strength training tips, and yes, last month, January 2021, where we talked all about time. So I've decided to keep that playlist in place, even though, again, those vlogs are getting a little dated already, and so much so that I think I'm going to make a little intro for this, uh, for these vlogs once a month. And if I have time today, I'm going to roll the intro now. No, if I did, <laughs> if the intro didn't roll, it means I didn't have time today, or maybe I started a little intro for this new, I'll just say monthly series here on the channel. Now, as we kick off this series, I'm gonna be zooming out more. I'm not gonna be talking about your cardiovascular system today. That's actually more in the vlogs I just mentioned. Um, I'm gonna talk more zoomed out, uh, more of, I would say, almost that mental approach to running faster and how to overcome mental hurdles that you might be facing as whether you've been running for 20 years or maybe you've been running for 20 months, doesn't matter, okay? So zoomed out 30,000 foot view, just like last month where I did talk about how to create more time in your day, week, month, uh, annual calendar year in order to dedicate more time to your 
training. All I can all I can communicate is from experience around this topic of believing. Belief, okay? And it's it's simple to say, hard to execute, all right? And what I have found in training with some future Olympians, uh, racing alongside some of the best ultra runners in the world is that belief or believing in yourself. And if this topic does not interest you, you can click away now, but I'm telling you this little notion of uh, the most successful long distance runners that I've encountered throughout the last 20 years of my life. These runners despise missing a goal, but are not afraid to do so, meaning they're not afraid to believe in themselves despite the chance, maybe the high chance that they will fail in, in chasing down and meeting the goal that they've set for themselves, okay? I, it, it's happened over and over and over again, whether it's at CU, whether it's racing at the World Mountain Running Championships, whatever the case is, I've seen it play out time and time again. Now, this belief in a goal, this belief in thyself, it's a realistic optimism, okay? I believed, it's cra I know it's so cliche, and I know I've said it a lot, but it's I got you know, always new subscribers. I believed after reading Running with the Buffaloes that I could walk on to the CU team. I didn't know how long it would take, but I, be I knew I could do it. And frankly, that's what got me through a year of training alone after trying my freshman year, not making the team, coming back 365 days later, and making the team, okay? I believed in myself. Well, I always wanna remind you that my ideas that I'm sharing in the studio, my experience through all these races in my life, I want them to be reapplied back to you. So to you, hit that pause button on YouTube and just reflect, ooh, have I been believing in myself at the outset, the outset of a training block? of an annual calendar year. Remember our goals from for 2021? Do you, I'll try and find the vlog, upper right hand corner. Do you even remember the goals that you set for yourself at the beginning of 2021? Probably not a bad time to go back and check out that vlog and just remind yourself, oh yeah, do I believe in those goals still at the outset of 2021? So here we go. One, you know, two, two more quick thoughts. Pike speak, baby. It's like, I, I, I don't, I, I hesitate to say I knew, but at the starting line, I knew I was going to win that race. I believed in myself so much, not just from, uh, but it was a balance. It was not just that mental confidence, but it was the confidence that is garnered from the training. Okay. And now this year, like, for example, here are, you know, it's like, I'm so excited to race against everyone around the world, but there's a strong mountain running community in Europe. Like it's, it's the real deal over there. And they were unable to travel to, uh, to the United States last year because of the pandemic. So I'm so excited. For example, the fact that here's uh, my ascent time up Pikes Peak in 2020, and I, I was there filming. Here's Killian's ascent time up Pikes Peak in, I guess it would have been 2019. Great job, great job, great so, job. Um, look strong, look I strong, now believe, job, now t five years ago, I wasn't even thinking about this, but after years of experience, I now believe, great I have job, that belief Gillian. in myself that I can race with the best mountain runners in the world, okay? So, um, Zagama, I'm not going over there to sing Kumbaya with everybody. I'm going over there to race and to give it my best effort and to make it competitive for everybody around me, okay? Whether I'm in 10th place, whether I'm in second place, doesn't matter. I'm going over there because I now have that belief, that true belief in myself that I can race with those best mountain runners in the world. Now, before that question of the day, just to wrap it up again, how to run faster, how I have ran fat, my experience of actually running faster, whether it's in the mountains or even in Naples. I didn't hit my A goal, but I PR'd by 70 seconds, but I would, I would not, <laughs> I would not have done that if I didn't believe that I could run. I dropped five minutes, I've dropped five or six minutes off my half marathon PR time. You guys know that for over the past two years because I believe that I can do it, okay? And uh, True Love and I have been talking about this right now, this belief in how to run faster, it's not a flip of the switch. Sometimes I wish it was. It's more of a uh, 
pushing up a lever. Like, yeah, just like, it's a slow process. It's, it's not a flip of the switch. It just takes time, everyone. Okay, question of the day. When was a moment in your life when you uh, believed in yourself despite many challenges or uncertainties out there and that belief helped you to achieve your goal. Like as, try and be very specific in your goals. And uh, something popped up on the Facebook group yesterday where somebody said, Seth, can we use the Facebook group to sell running shoes? And I just said, actually, actually no, because I don't want the Facebook group to be all about running shoes. I want the Facebook group to be about inspiration, motivation, um, hope, for us runners who are, yes, chasing down goals, chasing down dreams. Um, so anyway, just wanted to point that out about the Facebook group. This topic right now, how to run faster, believe in yourself, have that strong, strong belief. That is, that's like the essence of what this YouTube channel is all about. Okay, here we go. How to run faster playlist right there. And it's gonna develop over, you know, the coming months. I'll just keep adding videos to it that are driven um, really from my experience and right now i'm going through it in the month of february 2021 where i believe i believe that i can run 64 minutes sub 30 minutes um and we'll you know hold me accountable will it happen okay seek beauty work hard and love each other see you tomorrow